Good day. I was catching up on some reading and found an article in the Military Officer magazine about the 80-30 project. I have friends who have attempted or successfully completed a suicide and felt compelled to contribute. One of our military traditions is the collection of coins, typically given by unit commanders to troops as on-the-spot recognition for outstanding performance. Please see attached a collection of 22 coins representing many commands and the veterans who served there. Best regards. Becky Brashears, CW4, U.S. Army Retired. My garden is precious to me. A friend of mine and former vet, who I hadn't seen in some time, visited my new house. He saw that I had built raised garden beds that didn't have any dirt in them. Less than a month later, he brought me two truckloads of compost dirt to fill them with. He asked for nothing in return. He just saw that I needed something and knew he could help me with it. I gave him a big hug and told him this was one of the nicest things anyone had ever done for me. I remember walking into the alley and watching him drive away. That's the last time I saw my friend. He took his life hours after that. It's just really freaking amazing to get all these. And just, it's, I don't know, it, every time I get one it stuns me. Every time I think that I can't be moved anymore because I've gotten well over 70, maybe 80 of them now. Mm. Each of them is so meaningful. And what's kind of maybe silly is I get them in my phone sometimes, so I'll be somewhere, and so I'll scroll down to that box and I'll retrieve the mail, and there'll be this really astounding memorial someone has made, and I'll be in a completely different environment. And it, it's just reason to pause. This project is very different than anything I've ever done in the past. I've worked a lot with people and integrating people and having community discussions following films that I've made. But this has been an open call where I've asked people to take 22 objects to commemorate the 22 veterans that die by suicide each day and create something on their own and then document it and send it in. The reason you know, I did it was because I kind of had to make sense of my father's death. He took his own life 40 years after returning from Vietnam. And it was only by talking to other veterans that I realized how much it was part of this greater narrative versus his own stuff. It's just that it's this epidemic. And so 22 kind of became a symbolic number for all those deaths. And even if the number goes up to 24, I don't know that that would mean we'd change the project. It's just about taking the time and the space to think about it. I also questioned whether, you know, or in which ways we can open it up to talking about suicide in general, because it is an epidemic even among young kids. And I think that's also a huge problem. And I've had participants who may not have a connection with veterans or a veteran suicide per se, but they have the experience of suicide. And so they find a sense of catharsis in this project, irrespective of the fact that it may not be related to military service.